In this example, we will study the capacitance of this structure. Let us examine the components. We have the PCB in green color and we also have a copper trace as shown here. This copper trace is actually a coil for producing magnetic flux. The objective of this simulation is to compute the capacitance of this structure. To compute the capacitance in EMS, we use the electrostatic simulation. After creating the study, we have to assign materials to the two components. The coin is made from copper and the PCB is made from duroid 5880 material. Next, we have to assign the conductors for this structure. We will do that by applying what is called as a floating conductor boundary condition. In this example, the PCB coil is assigned a floating conductor. Next, we will also apply a ground voltage of zero volts to the bottom face of the PCB. Once the solution is ready, we can take a look at the results. The result table in EMS will give us the capacitance of this structure. In the next study, what we will attempt to do is to compute the electric field distribution through the PCB when you maintain the coil at 28 volts. So similar to the previous study, we have created another electrostatic study. In this electrostatic study, instead of defining a floating conductor, we have defined the PCB coil to be maintained at 28 volts. As before, we have the ground potential of zero volt assigned to the bottom face of the PCB. We are now ready to take a look at the results. The first result that we will be looking at is the electric field distribution in the board. You can see the areas of high electric field and you can locate them using the color chart. For example, high electric field values are in red, whereas the low electric field values are shown in blue. We will have to take a look at the cross section to see how the electric field varies through the cross section of the board. To do that, we employ what is called as section clipping. Here you can see how the electric field can be visualized through the cross section of the board. We can change the cross section by moving the cross section plane so that we can see how the electric field changes through the various cross sections. Finally, EMS has the ability to create what is called as a safety factor plot. We can create a plot, safety factor plot on the PCB and notice that all the regions are blue, which means that there is no region in the PCB that violates the safety factor. So in all regions of the PCB, the electric field is very well within the breakdown voltage of the board. Thus, in this video, you saw how EMS can be used to find the capacitance of this structure and also you can see how we can visualize the electric field and safety factor through the cross section of the PCB. Thank you for watching this.